Next up are colds and flus. We all run into them. Number one, I think it's a lack of sleep. We get run down, you don't give yourself enough rest, so what does the body do? It does it for you. It forces you to stay in bed for a couple days so that it can recharge. The body is so smart. So it's actually doing the right thing at the right time, but if you absolutely cannot afford to do that, what can you do, especially if you don't want to have a bunch of drugs and a bunch of uh, toxins going into yourself and your family system? Three big things that we take and uh, carry around in the house. Number one is vitamin D. I take it nearly all year long. Test your blood levels. If it's between 50 and 70, you're getting the optimal immune system effect, especially even effect, uh, impacting not only colds and flus, but things like cancers. Is that powerful? You want to be taking vitamin K with it. So for every thousand uh, units of vitamin D, you want to be taking 100 units of vitamin K so that you don't calcify the arteries. Check out some of my vitamin D resources to learn more on that. But vitamin D, very powerful in the cold flu season, actually found to be more powerful and more effective at preventing the flu than the flu shot. Imagine that. Crazy. So vitamin D, very good secret weapon this time of year. Number two is vitamin C. You can get my vitamin C mix and drink on my um, website where the we actually have powerful cold and flu fighter. Um, I mix it with vitamins, uh, sorry, apple cider vinegar and um, take big doses of that. Sometimes I use it with probiotics that we talked about earlier in this series. And vitamin C, very uh, powerful, but it's water soluble. So you can only take so much. I take anywhere from two to 5,000 uh, milligrams a day. And so um, you can't go much above that. It's just going to kind of pass right through you, could potentially cause you diarrhea if you get too much. So you can only do so much, but that daily consistent dose, super important. There's one in my store. That's the one my family keeps in their wellness uh, cabinet if you need vitamin C that tastes amazing, that the kids really, really enjoy, and to get it in regularly this time of year if it is cold and flu time when you're watching this to pump it in. So vitamin C, vitamin D, and the last one's elderberry, which has become very popular as of recent. And there is solid research showing that it's a very good flu and upper respiratory defender. Um, these are all broken down on the cold and flu articles on the site. Just go to conditions and click on cold and flu and you can learn more about these three and others that are very powerful at fighting the colds and the flu. So Taking vitamin C, um, D between five and 10,000, depend on your weight. Vitamin C between two and 5,000 milligrams um, a day for that. And elderberry, you can make the syrup or the gummies and have your children and you taking that, especially during cold and flu season. For more resources, check out drlivinggood.com and click under conditions. And you can go to the cold and flu section for a lot more or the store if you want to know what we personally have in our wellness cabinet. So that is a cold and flu section of the wellness cabinet series. Hey, if you like what you're seeing, then hit the subscribe button below because we come out with real health solutions every single week and you can stay up to date by keeping health simple so you can experience real health. So hit subscribe and then ring the bell and we will keep the good content coming. I'll see you again real soon.